Today's rant is on racial stereotypes. We all know what it's all about. Characteristics of true and false beliefs about every ethnicity group including black people, white people, Asian people, Latino people, Hispanic people, and so on. I just like to say racial stereotypes is ignorant and ridiculous. All it's doing is tearing all the ethnic groups apart because of these beliefs that may be 99% true. I also feel that racial stereotypes are one of the reasons why racism still exists along with black slavery and racial segregation. Shall we get started? Today's edition, Caucasians. Let's take a look at these stereotypes of our white people that may be true or false. First stereotype, all white people are dumb blondes. This is most certainly not true. No matter what hair color he she has, some are not very bright. Nowadays you will happen to see a lot of dumb blonde stereotypes on TV, like Dahlia from ABC Suburgatory. Okay. Mommy, mommy, Daddy Altman. And from Disney Channel Nickelodeon shows as well. Examples. Paisley from Ant Farm. Grace from How to Rock. Even Jason Dolly's characters Newt and PJ from Cory in the House and Good Luck Charlie. But Disney and Nick has and as always had shows with redhead characters who are not very bright. Cat Valentine from Victorious and Sam and Cat. Dez from Austin Alley. Chelsea Daniels from That's So Raven. Second stereotype. White people love mayonnaise. Anybody can love mayo. There's probably some whites who don't care for it. I'm a black man who likes having extra mayo when it comes to turkey sandwiches and burgers. Third stereotype, white people are known as rednecks. Only in the south you'll find rednecks who enjoy hunting, fishing, and big engines. Not all white people are rednecks. I'm sure there are some black people who enjoy fishing and hunting as much as the next person. All white people are not rednecks like Honey Boo Boo and her family saying things like, Yee doggy, I'm burning up like cooking barbecue on a pit on the hot 4th of July. So maybe you better redneckanize. <laughs> redneckanize. What will they think of next? Next stereotype. Oh yeah, this one is silly. White people can't dance and have no rhythm. So they assume that white people like Julia Louis Dreyfus character Elaine from Seinfeld can't dance. There are white people who can dance their asses off as much as black people. You'll be amazed. I mean, have you not seen movies like the Step Up movies or Say the Last Dance? I'm sure people have seen white people in movies dancing their butts off. Don't just assume blacks are the only ones who can dance, having more soul, the smooth moves, the funk like James Brown and Michael Jackson. I'm sure there are a few black people who don't have rhythm. And some white people do. Fifth stereotype. All white people are racist. Some are. Some are not. I mean, some black, Asian, Latino, Japanese, etc. can be racist. And some are not racist. I don't like racist people in general. I would hate for all white people to be racist. That would be messed up. Next stereotype. White people have better jobs. I'm not buying that crap. Anybody can have better jobs. Here we have all white people are rich with big houses. Yeah, right. Regardless of color, some out there have big houses, have money out the ass, but some don't. Eighth stereotype. White people are proper. Again, some are, some are not. Anybody could be proper. It depends on how people were raised. Ninth stereotype. All white people drink a lot of beer. Oh, so society assumes all whites are the ones like Peter Griffin or just go out on St. Patrick's Day, get too drunk, not able to drive, but some may do it either way, get in the car, drive out of control until they end up in a car accident, or worse, deceased. I'm sure all white people who care for alcohol beverages won't do this. And if they do, I'm sure they'll, quote, drink responsibly, unquote, and won't go overboard. Ten stereotype, white people can't dress. I always compliment my English teacher, Miss Jessica Rico, on the clothes that she had worn. She told me that her boyfriend picks out the clothes for her because she claims she's not a good dresser. 
I'm sure people probably view blacks as people who are able to dress better know how to coordinate I'm sure there are whites who know how to dress and coordinate in their own way I mean come on next stereotype white people are not funny false I mean Melissa McCarthy Ellen DeGeneres Chris Farley Betty White matter of fact all the Golden Girls women were funny let's not forget Tina Fey and Amy Poehler 12 stereotype all white people cannot play basketball and are non-athletic totally false I mean Larry Bird could ball his butt off Brent Berry could ball and dunk his ass off I mean he won the 1996 slam dunk contest for crying out loud Chase Buttinger can dunk too there are WNBA players like Sue Bird Becky Hammond Lauren Jackson etc that can play some basketball so what the heck 13th stereotype all white people are nerds uh no they're not have you seen Steve Urkel Carlton Banks and his Carlton dance from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air I don't even like people being considered nerds geeks dorks and so on how about we just consider them as very intelligent people 14 stereotype all white people are serial killers and tend to commit suicide anybody can be a serial killer and yes it may seem like it's mostly white people we hear about committing suicide but I'm sure all of them are not known as suicidal next one all white women are stuck up most women regardless of color are stuck up I don't like stuck up women they are so hurtful judging others based on the way people look and their weight what we have here <laughs> all white people smell like baloney or wet dogs this stereotype right here is a bunch of baloney anybody can smell bad if you don't have good hygiene if you going around not washing your body and have BO there is a problem make sure you wash your butt for crying out loud next one all white people don't know how to raise their children uh, there are some black parents who don't know how to raise their children either so what the heck all white people are trailer trash part people all like the canker sisters from Ed Ed Nettie it's like the opposite of rednecks except it's people living in trailer parks every white person is not like this 19 stereotype all white people are hipsters like Janis Joplin all of them are not hipsters 20th stereotype all white people can't cook uh, some can cook some can't. Jeez, OP. Let's see. Oh, all white people age quick. Well, black people seem to age pretty well. I mean, look at Patti LaBelle. She's 70 years old and she looks great for her age. She doesn't look 70 at all. She looks still looks very pretty young. Some whites age well. Some don't, especially some white women. I mean, take a look at Stacy Dash. She's 47, and Gabrielle Union. She's 41. Two beautiful black women who continue looking beautiful with age. Britney Spears. She looks great at 32. Lindsay Lohan, not so much. But people overall who tend to smoke, drink, tan a lot, 24/7, are the ones who uh, age quickly. So it's best to be careful that way you can continue looking younger with age no sign of liver spots and wrinkles there are white women like Michelle Pfeiffer and Madonna who look great in their 50s especially Madonna she looks legendary in that uh, sexy leotard suit what's also legendary about her is her legendary ass here we have all white people are child molesters anybody can be a child molester and I want to hear ignorant mofo saying Michael Jackson he was not and he was black not white he loved children since he did not have a childhood of his own there's no proof or evidence that he was so stop listening to the news and media all the time 23rd stereotype all white women have flat butts absolutely false my dad told me while he was in high school from 1979 to 1983 he noticed some white women who had nice bodies but no junk in the trunk nowadays there are a lot of white women with big butts 
not just black women, which is grand. Women from all ethnicities can have big butts. That's the beauty of it. Women from different ethnicities with bubble butts, you can't go wrong. It's like ice cream. There are flavors you can't go wrong with either. Some women have smaller butts, unfortunately. All women, unfortunately, don't have bigger butts. I know people don't want to believe that, and they feel that, you know, all women should have big butts regardless. But, hey, a butt is a butt. A small butt can be cute as much as a big butt. It's all about the person on the inside. Nicki Minaj is black, but guess what? She got butt implants, and it equals fake plastic ass. There's a reason I made a big butt tribute to Selena, J-Lo, Beyonce, Shakira, Nelly Furtado, and Lady Gaga. I don't know how any guy can think Nicki's sexy and can drool over her plastic bubble butt. How about drooling over Selena's? Nice butt and banging by. Look at Selena just shaking that ass around town. Love that booty of hers. Whew. Oh, never going to see more of that booty again. Man, F Yolanda. Moving on to all white women get plastic surgery. There are a lot of white women who unfortunately get plastic surgery due to a broken nose. Probably feel that their nose is too big, so they want to shrink it down a little bit. They want it to get a little bit smaller. But some may do it because they don't like the way she looks. Courtney Cox done something to her face. I can tell she got some boy tox. But I don't think she went too far. I mean, she still is hot. Some people make fun of her saying she looks waxed. Her face looks melted. Screw you. I don't know why Lindsay Lohan had to go under the knife. You can tell around the cheeks she got something done. It's just so sad. She doesn't even look 27 due to the plastic surgery and all that drinking. Even Tori Spelling. Sure, she may not have been always drop dead gorgeous. I always thought she was cute. But look at Tori Spelling now. I bet people told her she was ugly, so she thought it was best to be accepted by society to get her face cut. If so, that's just sad. There are a few black women who have gotten some done. You know, like I said, Nicki Minaj, breast implants, butt injections, nose jobs. She's just plastic out the ass. You name it. And of course, poor little Kim. Poor, poor little Kim. Moving on to all white people have small, thin lips. Some do, some not. Okay, all white women uh, unfortunately don't have big, sexy lips like Angelina Jolie. 26 stereotype. All white girls are known as valley girls. You know, the ones who are known as airheads, the ones who go, like, this is totally wrong on, like, on so many levels. Whatever. Duh. Just like Whitney and Berettne of Littlest Pet Shop. 27 stereotype. All white women are known as Starbucks drinkers. So because they're white, that's the reason they enjoy Starbucks coffee. They don't drink Starbucks coffee because they're white. They drink the coffee for the love of Starbucks, jack wagons. I'm sure there are some white females who don't care for coffee. Probably prefer cocoa over coffee. Ever think of that? Next stereotype. White females are known as loud girls. Talking loud like they're in the club. OMG, Casey. Those shoes look cute on you. Where'd you get them at? Then there's the white women are known as Southern Bells. Most Southern Bells wear dresses holding umbrellas, but either way, Southern Bell women are lovely, polite, and awesome, like Dallas Royce from ABC's Suburgatory. I love their accents. Sounds so nice and lovely. Southern Bells are like, Hey, y'all! Oh, my, oh, my! Did you get that for little old me? Hey, sugar, sugar booger, hun, sugar pie, dumpling. Well, aren't you sweet as a honeysickle? Next one. All white women have eating disorders. Any woman, regardless of color, can have eating disorders. I mean, it's not just some white women. Come on. Oh, here we have all white men have small penises. This is idiotic bullcrap out the mouth. 
I'm sure some have small penises, some don't. At the end of the day, who gives a crap? A penis is a penis. Why care about the size of it so much? And the last one I have is all white people are known as emos and goths. Not true. Some ignorant fools will think you're goth or emo when wearing all black. Like if girls love the color black wearing black nonstop. A black shirt, a black tank top, a black croc top, and some black jeans, rocking black nails, and black lipstick. People will go, wow, you sure do love the color black. So you definitely must be emo, right? No. Goth? They just love the color black. That doesn't mean he, she is emo and goth. Man. Well, that's all, folks. White people, I love you. And don't let some of these false stereotypes get to you. Be you. You can also let me know in the comment box if there are other white stereotypes I missed. Leave in the comment box. Next stereotype edition, African Americans. Peace.